right, so today we'll be going over the top four concepts that I learned about Facebook ads that can fully help you. I didn't really understand Facebook ads until I understood these four concepts. I want to break them all down for you and explain them very simple in the best terms possible so that you can apply these to your Facebook ads, scale your brand, and just fully make winning Facebook ads. The first thing is that the hook is more important than you think. The first three to five seconds, everyone talks about how important these are, but it's not even just the hook. It's not even just the visual. It's also the headline. It's who you're targeting. For example, if you're selling a coffee product and you want to appeal to people that they want lower acid or, you know, coffee's too acidic for them, you want to explain, you know, this is why I hate Starbucks or tired of acidic coffee or why I switched to this or explain, you know, different statistics and facts that people experience with acid reflux and different pain points that they are experiencing. If you just have pouring Starbucks coffee down the drain or in the garbage or running it over with a car, it doesn't really explain who you're targeting. The headline should be explaining the angle. The visual should be very appealing. If you combine these two, you're going to have a relatively decent ad. And the most important part here is that you need to constantly be testing these angles. If you have different ads, because the body and also the hook go hand in hand here to create the ad. So the hook has to basically be the intro to the body, which is the explainer. So your angle needs to be stated in the first few seconds, right? So your headline, your text needs to be explaining exactly what your product is about to solve. It's a, it, it's. It's basically the preview to the body. It's a preview to the ad. And when I say body, it means the video after the first five seconds, three to five seconds, whatever it is, whatever you're going to explain and start selling, this is what you need to basically be introducing to the audience because everyone's scrolling, their attention span is very short. You need to grab their attention, you know, warm them up for them to then watch an ad and then hopefully click and possibly buy your product. So focus on the angle, focus on the hook, and then lead into your ad. The second concept that a lot of people don't get right is that their talent does not match the demographic that they're trying to sell to. If you're selling a mattress to a 50 year old woman with back pain, and in your ad you have a 25 year old woman who's just pretty, that's not going to resonate with your audience. That is not going to grab them at all. They're not even going to really watch it because they don't look like them. People want to look at ads they can relate to or somebody that they want to be. Maybe the older person wants to be that young person, so they're going to watch, they're going to be, oh, well, this is a pretty girl, I'm gonna watch and be entertained by this, but I don't think they're going to relate that talent to them and the problems that they're facing right now. If you're selling to a 50-year-old woman, 50-year-old male, whatever it is, have that demographic of talent in your ad. It's going to make your ad look so much better and just so much more relatable and organic to the audience. They're going to pay attention and actually want to hear what you have to say because that person, you know, even though they're a talent, maybe they could be a real customer, has gone through the same problems, solutions, everything that this person that you want to convert has gone through as well. I see a lot of brands right now that are selling any type of product, no matter what it is, they're using TikTok style creators. They're very young, they're very hip, they're doing the, the current trends and they're trying to apply this to older brands. They're trying to apply this to any type of brand or whatever they're selling. And the reason this isn't working is because their demographic is not even paying attention to these ads. They have no idea what's going on. They're scrolling past it because it just doesn't appeal to them. Think about what your demographic is watching and what entertains them and what they actually like to read. That The older demographic loves to read things, they love to watch talent that has something to do with them. The younger talent, the 25 to 35 year olds, but they're looking at people that are on TikTok, right? So that could be the younger demographic, the 30 year old millennial or the 30 year old person walking around doing the hot girl walks, drinking coffee, whatever it is, and you need to put them in your ads. So it, it always ranges depending on what you're selling, who your audience is, and what your demographic likes, what the content your demographic likes to consume is. A lot of people get this next thing wrong. This is the third concept here. Your script is probably too complex and it's probably either too long or too short. There's multiple problems that I see in a lot of scripts that currently are being used in ads. A lot of them just aren't simple enough. You're using big words, big terms. No one really wants to think. People want to go on their social media as an escape. They want to just see what's going on in the world, possibly buy something, see what there is out there that's uh, that can solve their problem. So your script needs to just come in on a very basic level and needs to appeal to somebody that could fully understand any type of basic wording. The script should not have any complex wording. It should be very simple problem, solution, and explain exactly how your product works, how it creates that solution, right? So we go back to this mattress example, right? So if somebody has this back pain and they've dealt with so many mattresses in the past, they spent thousands of dollars you need to explain why your mattress, ABC mattress, is so much better, right? They've dealt with back pain for years. It's just stained. It doesn't fit right. You know, they toss and turn every night. Explain how this mattress is just so convenient. It gets shipped to you. You don't have to lug it home from the store. All the different pain points. And you can try these different pain points as headlines or hooks in your ads. Separate all of them. If you use too many hooks in one script, it's going to be all over the place. One script per angle. 
The intro of the body can be the angle, and then you can go to problem solution. The intro of the body right after the hook can be different stories or different intros about the different pain points. So the hook can have, this is how I stop tossing and turning every night, and then go into, I've spent thousands of dollars on mattresses, I've been tossing, turning for years, but now it's fully changed because of this. And then you go into explaining why ABC mattress is the best mattress you've ever found. It was shipped to your door, all the different value props, and explain how happy you are. That should be a script. That is probably a winning script right there. Test that with a bunch of different B-roll. Obviously, we can, we can get to the filming part in a different video. I'm just breaking down the concepts here. So the script should be very basic, very easy to understand. You can show it to a 10-year-old and they'll fully understand what's going on. A fifth grader, I don't know how old, whatever. But you, actually, I don't know because that show, are you sort of the fifth grader? They knew way more than I would ever know. So I don't know if that's the best example, but you know what I'm saying. Basic, very, very basic terms, you know, nothing crazy and just explain how this product is going to improve or just solve their problem. This is the fourth and last concept of this is your offer. If you sell a mattress for $800 and your ad says, click down below to get your mattress, and then the person goes to that page and it's an $800 mattress, that is not appealing at all. You need to have either freebies, an offer, a current sale. We need to capture their attention again, right? So you capture their attention at the beginning, they hopefully watch the ad, they then clicked, they landed on your page, and now what, right? So you need to be even more informative. People just wanna to continue to read because they're about to make a purchase. They're about to give their money to you. Why should they part their money with you? This is their hard earned money. Now, why do you deserve my money, right? So you need to inform them again exactly what you're selling and why you should buy it. What's the time restriction they have? What is your offer? So the offer is now the biggest part once they get to your landing page. Your offer needs to be so captivating that they basically can't say no. You need to have either a sale, but I know it's illegal to have a sale 24 seven, but you need to have an offer, right? For example, mud water, and there's other different, there's other brands like this. They have, if you subscribe or you buy first, they give you a free frother, right? So the first purchase comes with a free frother. I know if you buy Nectar, the mattress, it comes with two free pillowcases and a sheet set. That is an incredible offer. So this mattress now was crossed off from $1,000. That's now $800. It comes with two pillows and a sheet set. How do you say no to that at this point? It fully makes you feel special. Your customer wants to feel special. They want to feel like they are getting a great deal because no matter what your price point is, they have to feel captivated that your product is going to solve their problem and that they're getting a good deal on this product. So as opposed to just selling a product for $20, you need to be saying this product is $20 crossed off from 30 or this product is $20, but it also comes with this and it comes with free shipping. Whatever it is, it comes with insurance, replacement mug if your mug breaks. Whatever the freebie or the add-on is, you need to incentivize your buyer a little bit, unless your product is something that's, you know, a high premium good, like, you know, Louis Vuitton, the, all the LVMH brands I think never go on sale, but that's not typical D to C. But you know what I'm saying? So at this point, your, your offer has to be catchy once, once they've gotten to the landing page. These, this is the, you know, one of the most important things that I think a lot of people don't realize that once someone's on your landing page, you need to push them over the edge. So, because if your conversion rate's not high, your ads can be great, your landing page can be great, but if you have no offer, why should somebody buy from you? Your offer just needs to be exciting, right? So you have the hook, you have the talent that needs to match your demographic that you're selling to, you have the script needs to be fully simplified, you know, story a little bit, ex explain what's going on, problem, and then the solution of why your product is going to solve their problem and how amazing they feel and how much they love it that, you know, they, they need to share it. Whether it's a real customer or you're casting a talent, you need to be informing your audience that are watching your ad about the solution that you're providing to them. And then of course your offer needs to be so captivating that they just can't say no. This has to be, you know, you're solving their problem and they're getting a great deal. How can they beat that? Where are they going to find something else like this? Basically, you need to position this so your customer feels special and your customer needs to be feeling like royalty throughout the entire funnel. So I hope this helps. These are the four concepts that I learned running Facebook ads. If you can apply these, I'm sure you'll make some winners. I'll go more in depth in other videos. Please comment below of anything you really want to hear and learn. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. Hopefully you subscribe. Talk to me a comment, like, appreciate it. Thank you.